In this video, to line up my complete honesty and open-mindedness here, I'm going to talk about why there are members of the Evox cast that are inconsistent with their beliefs, and I refer to all members when I bring them up, because what I'm going to talk about is a serious issue that needs to be addressed both by them and the rest of the planet. Disclaimer, I'm not here to convince you, I'm here to at least plant a seed or teach you something new. I want you to make the decision whether this change is the right thing to do for you in your situation, or situations, and try to do research on it. I know I struggle with research because of having autism, it's hard to read and stay focused at the same time, and it's taken me years to get to where I am now. I don't blame you if you don't want to do research, but at least try. To briefly introduce myself, I know one. I know one. I love the Earth cost. I grew up as a baby watching it when I was probably about 14 years old. I was watching it from the early Minecraft videos with the series called Shadow of Isabel after the trial of Dark Elise, and I've seen every other Minecraft video since. I watched their Trouble in Terrorist Town videos later and GTA V Online, and I still do to this day. I enjoy them very much. I also enjoy the sponsored stream streams and the games as well that go on the main channel. And all the other games that they play as a one-off. And one particular channel I enjoy is called the Trifles Podcast, which is amazing and you should probably listen to it. It can also be very interesting and entertaining. I'm quite specific about who I watch because of time constraints. One of my highlights of the year every year from the Oz cast has to be the Jingle Jam charity live streams. The live streams have a very special place in my heart as it brings everyone together, if not most of them anyway, with the Oz cast and the fan base, and sometimes guests who come on stream. And it's all to create a fun and interesting live stream and raise money for charity over the two weeks that they do it. However, despite how wholesome the Oz cast is, the mentions of how specific animal cruelty is awful when it comes to companion animals or zoo animals but not farmed, is pretty horrific. I struggle to word this part. My only response to their disgust has been, in quotes, you're doing the same. I don't know how to word that without it sounding emotional, sorry about that. My goal here is to inform you of what's going on around animal use. There was a story mentioned on the Triforce podcast recently that I can see with a different approach to it would give you something to think about. This episode started out as a discussion about cattle prodding and how it's cool to do. What if the cow being prodded was you? It's easy to think that because you don't see this happening, it may not be cruel. It's important in those situations to imagine it and be in the situation yourself. This can help you decide what actions are better to approach universally too. Even though the shot is likely small, there is still the mental aspects, such as why is the cattle being prodded to begin with? If an animal will fully walk into a destination, you have to answer why there are those that are not willing to. There is another story which I'll let speak for itself here. Apparently, so apparently this is a thing, this is what the this is what I was told, and it could again be complete bollocks, um, is that there is a history of people, some people in Brazil, fucking chickens. Okay. Okay. Because apparently, if you break the if you break the neck of a chicken, it's cloaca or whatever, uh, like spasms goes into like spasm, and it's like a it's like a I don't fucking know. All right, I'm not I'm not thinking about. What are I'm those, not, I don't think that what are those nice. fake vaginas but called? Apparently, it feels nice, right, to fuck it. Um, Worth for, killing or, a, an animal for, like. Get, and I guess like a flamingo, go and have a wank or, or get a it's like a fancier it. chicken, right? <laughs> Piran is right about saying that these guys should just have a wank or fuck some flashlight or some other device. But he's hypocritical here in thinking that this is somehow not worth an animal's life. For example, what about the animals you eat? They have to go through a similar thing if they're female. Their reproductive systems are exported by humans to produce either an animal product or meat. Their life is thrown away for, again, what is probably the smallest moment of trivial pleasure possible for us humans. This is ignoring all the other things wrong with animal agriculture. What I would like to know is, what is the trait difference between a bird being killed and fucked for trivial pleasure versus a farm animal being exploited reproductively for a trivial pleasure? Because these are exact same actions and a similar purpose. One thing I have overlooked here is that there is a difference between the people doing it. One is a farmer and the other has broken in. The point still stands even if what Lewis said was fake. This is identical to what happens to other animals. Animals are brought into existence 
often caged up, living no life whatsoever, then being slaughtered. Once again, for trivial purposes. Think of things from the animal point of view, if you are not so sure. I'm happy to elaborate on anything if anyone has any questions, by the way. The point that should be obvious here is that there is not really any difference between these two situations. In animal agriculture, cruel things have to happen in order for animal products to exist. It isn't possible to do it ethically. This is the part where you could do some research, it could benefit you. To die is the cruelty in itself, especially in an animal's case where they never die a painless death. And neither can we, honestly. A channel I watched called Humane Hancock made a video with another person that ranked slaughter methods based on the suffering involved. It's worth a watch. I'll just try to keep this short and simple. I love the Yoss cast. And if you're watching this, you guys are great. You're an inspiration. And the merch here, hopefully, which I'll flash on screen will hopefully prove it. You also prove your open minded by trying different vegan products, as I keep hearing you talk about these sometimes. Something I would appreciate the Yoss cast doing is obviously keeping on delivering the amazing content, but also looking into veganism, since you are nice enough people. It would be great if this was something you would think about at least. Veganism is defined by the vegan society as a way of life that seeks to exclude as far as is possible and practicable all forms of animal exploitation, cruelty and death. Nobody is perfect, there may be slip ups, there is plenty of information out there if you're sceptical. Personally, I recommend either watching debates on veganism or watching a documentary like Dominion Documentary or Land of Hope and Glory by Earthling Ed. If you don't want to see animal cruelty, you then have to ask why you're okay with paying for it, since this is always a risk of funding these industries, as it also has to fundamentally happen in standard practices, like castration or teeth pulling or debeaking and tail docking. There is a speech I recommend, which avoids most animal cruelty anyway. It does have bits in it, I will preface that. It's Cosmic Skeptics, Why It's Time To Go Vegan, Animal Rights Speech. The speech is pretty good. Cosmic Skeptic used to be a meat eater. That was until he read a book by a guy called Peter Singer. The book was called Animal Liberation. And apparently with success, this book has convinced people he knows to go vegan within the first few pages as well. The book was published in 1975 by the way. Another thing I would recommend is the 30 day vegan challenge. There are different sources for this. Of course I didn't have to try this because I wasn't sceptical about the diet because the moral argument was enough to convince me. But if you are sceptical about the diet aspect, I can recommend this challenge. As I have to remind myself about sometimes, it's about trying to be kind to others in the short lives we have, and sparing anyone suffering and death is a kindness. That's all I have to say. Thanks for watching.